tell me why EpiRock is exhibiting at Electromining 2018? Tell, um, there are two reasons. One is um, we've had a change of brand. Uh, as recently as June 2018, we separated from the mothership at the Scarpco and embarked on our own journey. So we wanted to showcase the brand to the audience, our customers, potential clients. And that's the reason why we are at Electromining. The second reason uh, is that we were here about eight years ago. 2010 so there's been a gap since then and we thought we might all make our presence felt with equipment uh, at the show that's the reason can you tell me what equipment you have on showcase here okay if you see the facility that we've got here uh, we've got a very large portfolio of machines um, of technology we obviously can't fit everything into the limited space that we've got so we've actually focused on surface drilling uh, on display. So what you see in front of our stall are surface drilling equipment uh, which includes the smart drill machines, smart rocks, which are very popular in South Africa and we also have the large blast hole drills which find favor in um, coal mines in South Africa. So we've got the IDM30 and we've got the smart rock D65 on display and uh, since mining is on a kind of a boom we also have exploration equipment as a part of the showcase so this is the equipment we've got on display on the big machines we also have hydraulic attachments which are on display right in front of our stall these are hydraulic breakers which you normally mount on excavators and this is also on display so is the rock drilling tools uh, the consumers that are in use for the drilling equipment so predominantly this is what we have on display today Okay, and you did mention that you have smart equipment. Can you tell me then what EpiRock is doing in terms of digital transformation in the mining system? Yeah, actually, um, uh, if, you, if you split mining up into two facets, the underground and, and, and the surface, we've been kind of um, industry leaders when it comes to surface drilling equipment and the way it's connected to the customer's operations. So. So we have what is known as smart technology where your operator is basically sitting in a cabin and operating things with the touch of a button, right? And the machine is smart enough to do a lot of things on its own because it's pre-programmed to do that. But more than that, uh, we have now possibilities to have the operator taken out of the comfortable cabin which is air conditioned, which has music, but you can be sitting in a remote location and operating the machine from safe locations, right? So he can operate it tele-remote. He can do this on completely autonomous operation, which means that you let it go and the machine does everything on its own, right? So we've got this technology, which is operational, in South Africa and it's basically giving the customers benefits of safety, increased productivity, I would say lowering of costs and they even don't have to lose production on shift changes because the machine is, you know, oblivious to people coming and going. So this kind of stuff is there on surface and we are now working towards getting that up and running in underground. That's all to you. Very, very exciting prospects. Can you maybe give me an idea of some of Ebi Rock's strategic objectives for 2019? Okay, um, look, we are a company with 145 years of experience, but still new, right? Um, when this company was being created over the last, I would say, 16 to 18 months when we were putting our things together. So there are certain objectives, strategic objectives which have been laid out and um, um, these have been kind of defined as our Bible for going ahead, right? But uh, digitalization, interoperability, uh, these are two key buzzwords that you would hear everywhere, but they basically define 
what our strategy is going to be going forward. So we're looking at a, a digital mine of the future where everything is well connected. We are also looking and we are actually promoting that globally and it will come in South Africa as well. You know, you have diesel equipment working underground, which causes ventilation issues. Operators are ex you know, exposed to noxious fumes. So we are now, or have launched actually, and tested significantly battery operated equipment, right? So your underground loaders and trucks, which are running up and down inclines, burning diesel, and you know, having the ventilation being removed, the air fumes, if we now move to imagine battery, ventilation would disappear. So we're calling this uh, an emission-free mine for the future. And so most of our technology that we are doing today is working towards a uh, digital mine in the future. So this, I, what I've just said is just a few things. There's a lot more actually happening right now. We look forward to following the Epiroc story because it sounds very exciting going Pleasure. forward. Sanjay, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Today. Thank you.